In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to be playing defense right now in Madden 23, and we are gonna be in the 46 playbook. Now, if you wanna get my entire 4-6 defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. You can join by clicking the link down in the description below. So what we're talking about today, guys, is the best way that I think you could be playing defense right now in Madden 23, and essentially what we want to do is we want to get the best man coverage corners possible. Ideally on this outside here, you're going to have one step ahead. If you can't afford one step ahead corners, go ahead and put outside shade on those corners with a deep route knockout. The safety positions, I like to have inside shade and deep route KO, and then really medium route KO as well if I can afford the AP. And then at the linebacker positions, I like to have two deep route knockouts. Now, the defense is going to be spinner out of dollar three two. We're going to put our auto alignment to base, and then I'm going to show you how to run this so it's really, really good against compression. So all we're going to do is we're in base, and we're just going to press. Now, one other key tip a lot of people don't think about, you'll see here. So let's say that I, you know, man up the running back, and I stand about right here, and, you know, again, let me kind of set up some protection. But what you'll see here is because of that blitz angle, this is actually a great example, this will show. So because of that blitz angle that Spinner has, it's different than DB Fire 2, there are some advantages to that blitz angle. One of the disadvantages is if they set up protection, a lot of times they can block that, uh, that blitz angle because he's kind of cutting inside too much, and so the guard will recognize him. So we wanna make sure to set ourselves up for success. So the easiest way to do that is to crash your defensive line inside or slant them inside. And then from there, you'll see here, if I did the same basic thing, now you see we're still able to get, you know, that pressure, it's a little bit more, um, a little bit more of a problem uh, for them to, to be able to block it, okay? So again, just I'm just crashing my line inside. And then I like to pass commit as well. Um, you don't have to pass commit if you think they are gonna run the ball, but if you, Pretty sure they're gonna pass commit. I would go ahead and pass commit. Now, another key tip, uh, especially when you're defending tight, is you can send five, but if you send four, so let's say they block this, let's say they don't block the running back. So let's say they put the running back on a route, okay? This guy on the left side, the slot cornerback, um, I'm gonna put him in a cloud flat, okay? Just an example here. But what you see is this four main pressure will get in a lot of the times. So a lot of times you're gonna get some disengages. Somehow that's gonna get in a lot. Um, and so you have that. So for example, one of the things that you could do is you could put this guy in a third or a cloud, and then you could have this guy in a hook curl or a, or a deep third, for example. And if they put the running back out, you just go guard the running back. And a lot of times that blitz is still gonna come in clean off of, off of the running back side. Um, you can also do kind of the same thing. So let's say, you know, maybe I wanna man that guy up on the running back, so that's taken away. You know, and then over here, now we're gonna send it over from this side. And you know maybe we want to do something uh, something like this, where you know maybe we have you know some extra coverage or whatever. But the point being here, you see, still able to get that pressure in. Okay, so adjusting out of man is really good. You could be in a zone defense that turns into man, or you could be in a man defense that turns into zone. Now, one of the other things that is very helpful is to walk these guys down in the box so they're about eight to ten yards off the line of scrimmage if they are about eight to ten yards off the line of scrimmage they are going to do a better job at playing this like really good corner route that everybody likes to throw over on that sideline especially if they're running tight they play corner routes better if you bring them into the box okay that's a really key key tip again if you bring them down i like to bring them down and inside a little bit and then now you're set up and you're ready to roll. And basically this is one of the better ways to run spinner. You'll see right here, you can't throw it. The, the other thing is I've noticed the blitz actually improves whenever you walk these safeties down. So you're able to play this really, really well. Now, one of the things that your opponent's going to do when they start to see you running a lot of man coverage is you are going to get the slant post concept. It looks something like this. So what we wanna do, um, if we are you know, getting a concept like this, to defend this is we need some help in the middle of the field, okay? So what I like to do is, because they're probably gonna be blocking the running back, I'm watching the running back. If the running back goes, I know I have to go guard him, 
But if he doesn't go on a route, I'm going to put this middle linebacker on the right in a hook curl. Now what I have here is I'm going to the slant. I could take that, pass that to the curl, and then I'm back on the post. And now they have to wait late to throw that slant as it crosses the middle of the field. So, guys, this is the best way to be running um, spinner is to utilize these key adjustments. One of the other ones um, is, you know, put put – you know the wide i call it the wide side so you have a short side and a wide side so on the right side there's more space it's harder to flood zone to the right so if they are going to run a corner out to the right and you put a third over there it's almost impossible to throw that so we could go with a hook curl and an outside third to that side and then okay we see the running back go so we know we got to go guard him but you see we're still able to play really really decent uh from a defensive perspective Spinner is the best man blitz in the game by far. You should be running this with man coverage abilities, and I guarantee your defense is going to get better. If you want to check out my entire ebook, especially on the dollar, it's all in the Patreon. $10 gets you access to everything. You can sign up for the Patreon by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.